Hey, I'm Rob with Angler's Book Supply, and uh, Chris asked me to come down and do a quick discussion of the best holiday items, best gift items on book and DVD. Um, so I brought down a selection of things that I think would be great gift items, and I'll start off with our new DVD uh, fly fishing sampler. This is a great little $5 stocking stuffer, features 32 different movie trailers, and it's just a great way to get into DVDs if you're not sure which ones you want to try out. So again, these retail for five bucks, a great deal. Uh, best seller right now on the market is Eastern Rises. This is the new film by Felt Soul Media. It's all about fly fishing in Kamchatka, Russia. Yeah. Maybe the best fly fishing film ever made. I'm sure I'm pissing off lots of people by saying that, but it's really, really that good. Highly recommended. Uh, another best seller right now is Metalhead. That's the latest from the AEG boys. And uh, so this is Fish Bum Diaries Volume 2 Metalhead. It's all about steelhead fly fishing up in British Columbia in the late fall. Really well done. Uh, another one that's getting a bunch of attention right now, even though it's been out for a little over a year, is The Lost World of Mr. Hardy. This is an absolutely gorgeous film. I mean, I can't tell you, I can't say enough great things about it. Uh, it is not a sales piece for the Hardy Company at all. Uh, it is just an amazing story of the history of Hardy and how that, and what an amazing part of the history of fly fishing they represent. Uh, so, really highly recommended. Skagit Master, uh, shot by our buddy Jeff Mishler. Uh, featuring Ed Ward. Schedule Master 2 is coming soon, but not out yet. But if you haven't checked out Schedule Master, this is absolutely critical if you want to get out and chuck the big lines. Um, and then uh, kind of a, an odd one for us Americans, there's a company called uh, Gin Clear Media over in New Zealand. Um, they produced their first film, which was The Source New Zealand. And uh, they've got The Source, sorry, let's try that again. The Source Tasmania. This is The Source New Zealand and they've got Iceland coming out. Um, if you haven't seen these, it's really hard to explain just how good they are. Um, just They're really telling a story. Starting at, the, starting at the glacier, going to the ocean and covering everything in between from an angler's perspective. And it's just beautifully shot. So I highly recommend those if you're into adventure travel. So those are sort of my picks for DVDs. I've laid out a bunch of other books here, but I'm going to start off with the one that I think is probably the greatest uh, angler entomology book ever to be created. And uh, it's sold like crazy here in Oregon. It's just starting to get the attention it deserves elsewhere. And this is Bug Water by Arlen Thomason. Absolutely incredible. I've been challenging people to pick a chapter and read it. And if you don't find something that just blows your mind, then uh, you know I'll eat my hat. Although I think I've said that before, I didn't have to eat it. Uh, anyway, check out Bugwater if you're not familiar with that. Absolutely spectacular book. Uh, next on the list is Renee Harrop's new book. Uh, for those who don't know, Renee is the premier guide on the Henry's Fork in Idaho, which is probably the toughest spring creek fishing you can find. Lots of people, glassy water, big smart rainbows. Uh, he spent a career there, and this book is basically, here's what I've learned from fishing over the toughest trout in the world. Um, and it includes all of his CBC fly patterns, which are incredible. So highly recommend this book. Ed Engel, uh, Colorado fishing guide and legendary writer, buddy of John Gearock, has a new book out. Trout Lessons, Freewheeling Tactics and Alternative Techniques for the Difficult Days. So this is a guy who's been guiding the tailwaters of Colorado for decades saying, hey, you know, when times are tough, these are the tricks that I use to put fish on the bank. So, very, very valuable book. Uh, personal favorite and uh, winner of, recently of an uh, outdoor uh, book award is a, An Entirely Synthetic Fish by Anders Halverson. Uh, great guy, tons of great uh, research went into this book. And uh, if you'd like to know the history of rainbow trout hatchery programs and their introductions around the world, this is a really fun read, and it's getting a lot of acclaim. Um, there's always a call around the holidays for a good table, uh, coffee table book, and we've got a new one here uh, called Flywater. It's just full of beautiful photography. Uh, I just found out this is actually a reissue, or it's a, it's a, it's a new edition of an older book, um, but it's, it's absolutely 
beautiful coffee table book. Great holiday idea. Let's see here. For the, the boys in the Rockies or anybody who's fishing tough fish in tailwaters, this is Tying and Fishing Tailwater Flies by Pat Dorsey. This is a follow-up to his Fly Fishing Tailwaters book from last year. And uh, great photography, great tying steps, and excellent flies in there. So highly recommended. And then uh, this has been out for a couple months, but I, I can't say enough good things about our buddy Simon Gosworth. Uh, he's my absolute favorite spay casting instructor. And he's got a new book on single-handed spay casting. Um, I would suggest this book along with Rio's Modern Spay Casting DVD as a great companion where you can actually watch him do single-handed casting. So, really great book. Um, and I think that'll get you through. Oh, and if you've got somebody on your list who is really into salmon flies, there's really one book these days. It's a new one by Mike Redensich called 20 Salmon Flies. It comes with a two-hour DVD and it's absolutely spectacular. So this is a little bit of a surprise of a takeoff book uh, by Kirk Dieter and Charlie Myers. Uh, those of you who know Charlie passed away this summer. Um, these guys put together a really cool little book, uh, just all kinds of tips and observations about fly fishing. It, it kind of takes off on the concept of the Little Red Book of Golf. If you're a golfer, you've probably heard of that book. So they tried to create something similar to that for fly fishing, and this thing is taking off like crazy. Cool little gift idea. And then I'll finish out by talking about what's really my favorite book of all time, but I'm very biased. Uh, I grew up reading Deck Hogan and uh, his book, Passion for Steelhead. You probably already have a copy, but if you don't, you got to have it. It's the best writing, it's the best photography, and it really encapsulates everything that is steelhead fly fishing. So, big push for Deck. So, anyway, thanks. Happy holidays. Hope you get some reading and watching in.